So like I said, I have two walk and talks for you today since we didn't do one yesterday. Sorry, not a whole lot of imagery today, but I want to give you at least another walk and tech talk about gaming once again. And in this one, I want to talk about the future of digital distribution as we're downloading games more often than we are buying them physically. What's going to be the solution for borrowing, lending, trading, and such and so on? I'm not sure if that's been quite thought out yet. So when you think about it right now, we're in a digital distribution world. I mean, movies have turned that way with Netflix. Um, there's the main competitor, there's all these other competitors in there. You have TV now with Hulu, um, even Amazon's in this mix now. And right now, gaming is sort of going through the renaissance transition of that to going from dominantly physical media to downloads. And I think the question right now arises is how do we handle sort of the trading aspects the return aspects when you're done with the game because what we're so used to doing is you buy a physical copy of the game, you play it, you're done, you want maybe want to lend it to a friend, maybe you want to resell it back, or maybe you just want to borrow a game, you don't want to keep it for a certain period of time. And right now, there isn't a great option for that. You have a PlayStation Now, but I think the pricing on that is very off. And it's a good idea, but it's kind of off. And I think we really need to start thinking about having the ability to find a way when you buy a, a download digital game you can trade it in for maybe another game or for credits where you make money the developer makes money in some way shape or form I mean it's it's I think it's a conundrum that we really seriously need to start to think about in the gaming industry is like what do we do with all this digital content once we've stacked all this stuff where do we go with it or do we go maybe the streaming route where it's all one price one fee and it's a la carte i mean that's what netflix offers that's what amazon offers for and uh hulu offers for movies and tv shows maybe we need to go down that similar route of a you know 60 dollar a month 100 dollar a month wherever it's going to cost and you have an a la carte access to all the games possible all the updates possible and such and so on because truthfully speaking i know some people are going to argue that well what about physical media, you know? If I own it, I own the physical copy. Well, you know, this can get scratched. Uh, gaming consoles can be un become unavailable. They can send updates to brick games if they truthfully want to, even if you put the disc in these days. So it's, I, I think, you gotta think of it as, even if you buy the physical copy, all you're really buying is really a license to access the game to play it. And it's the same thing with digital distribution. You know, just, we just were able to do it, only could do it with a physical copy before. I don't know, share your thoughts on this. I don't know what the direct answer is. I, I think my opinion is we need to find some way to have a trading, digital trading system and also find a way to have a streaming system for a la carte services. But share your thoughts below on this and let me know what you think. This is Boma from BW1 and always remember to live your tech world in high definition.